Hi, it's Brent Abel here, webtennis.net. And I love getting on the backboard for a number of reasons. Uh, I, I can really work on my spacing. You know, we talk about spacing a lot, which is, you know, make sure that you've always got the ball exactly where you want it to your side, whether it's forehand or backhand. And, you know, too often what I see are people coming out and they're sort of right in the way of the ball or else they're kind of reaching way too far out. And so, you know, one of the great things you can use in the backboard is to really work on your footwork so you've got the ideal spacing away from the path of that incoming ball. So the swing part is simple. And that's the last thing we want to be doing in our matches is having to kind of improvise our swings depending on, you know, where the ball is at contact. Now, the other thing I want you to think about with, with, the, with the backboard practice is, you know, when we hit against the backboard, we don't ever consider that there's a baseline on the other side. All we're thinking about is that height above the top of the net. And so what I will do here is I'll be thinking, well, you know, what's the height above the top of the net in terms of what does that translate to a target on the other side of the net once I'm out on the court? And the tip I want to give you today is that if you get on the backboard and start sensing, well, there's a certain height above the net that really equates to where your shot would land on a court, I want you to take that out to the court and start thinking about, I want to hit this shot a certain height above the net, and you're not even thinking about the baseline. One of the problems we have uh, is that we don't want to hit the ball too deep because obviously the baseline. And once you start getting concerned about your opponent's baseline, you start to abbreviate the finish, you start to pull off of the ball, and I'm guaranteeing it, if you can swing out towards that target over the top of the net, you're going to find that you get a much cleaner hit, you get much better compression with the ball against the string bed, and balls don't fly out, they don't go deep. So think about when you're out in the court, think more about what's the height over the top of the net that you want to play this next shot. And the way to do that is to think, hey, all I've got here is a backboard in front of me. All I'm doing is just like I'm doing right here, I'm working on keeping the ball a certain height over the top of the net and go out there, take that mindset of a certain height above the top of the net onto the practice court, into your, into your league matches and into your tournament matches. And I think what you'll find is that you're much less concerned about hitting balls deep over your opponent's baseline. All right, hope this has helped. As always, any questions, ask Brent at webtennis.net. Have a great day out there. Hi, it's Brent Abel here, Web Tennis, and I hope you enjoyed that tip. Look, I really hope you're spending some time every week out on the backboard because it can really pay off in terms of swing freedom, which is power for your ground strokes, top spin for control and depth and consistency, obviously for you know, forcing your opponent uh, to really have to go for shots that maybe they don't want to. Click the link right below this video. Let's get you organized. Have a great day out there.